Here comes Alexa Bliss. And Lily, too. Ugh. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. It seems like Alexa is back from the dark side, but she brought back a friend, Lily. Uh, I wish she hadn't. Oh, don't be jealous, Saxton. We know your favorite doll recently popped. We are seconds away from another moment of bliss. Blissful for us, not for her opponent. And her partner from Boston, Massachusetts, Sarah Bates. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE could change the entire landscape here. She has stolen the show on many occasions, and I think she's planning on doing it again here tonight. Prepare for pure chaos. Here comes and Sherry from New York. Sherry acts up shrieking screams with unending assaults. Uh, check her resume, Saxton. Sherry has been dominant in WCW, ECW, and of course, WWE. A bona fide manager of champions who has been a champion in her own right. A ruthless individual, a vicious competitor. I can see why they call her Scary Sherry. Oh, enough with the disgraceful slander, Cole. You wouldn't say that to her face. Sherry's an elite competitor. Is here. Jando stick in hand, ready for a fight. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade. Cora Jade has called herself the savior of the women's division. Look, Jade isn't here to play games and make friends. She's here to face the best of the best and take them down. She certainly doesn't suffer from a lack of confidence. of Cora Jade on full display. Well, she showed up with a kendo stick, so we get it. She's tough. And the bell is rung, getting this tag match started. When you think of tag teams that are itching to make an impact on tonight's event, you don't have to look any further than these two. Two teams with a desire to steal the show. Oh. Just stretching out the arm. That was not just painful on the shoulder. That pain can shoot all the way up to the neck and all the way down the arm. This is a smart strategy. And she's not done yet. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Ah, <laughs> oh, Bliss counters. 
A slap. The ultimate sign of disrespect. No, oh, someone call a dentist. Big forearm. Oh, what a counter. Side Russian leg sweep. This is just punishing, disrespectful. Oh, definitely hurts. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Nah, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. And Sherry won't be having a good night if she allows more offense like that. Yeah, that is Bliss showing just how dangerous she can be. Drop kick. Beautiful. Off the ropes. Leg drop. Vertical suplex. Bam. Yeah. Scoop slam. Great response to Sherry there. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Oh, that's got to sting your back. Oh, man. Ooh, man, what a hit. Here's a cover. Fends off the three count. Just barely, but it counts. She's staying elusive. Hits the drop kick. Slowly getting up, but she won't like what she's met with. Launching. Max handle from the middle rope. She's starting to tire a little. Yeah, this is exactly why constant frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Tag is made, and here we go. Side Russian leg sweep. And shoulders are down. Well, she thought she saw a chance to gain the fall, but obviously was mistaken. Check this out. Oh. Simple but effective. Vicious knee drop. Carefully measuring. Seated bionic elbow. The arm absorbing the damage. Was ready for that. Okay, finds the spot. All five feet of fury on display. Right face lock applied into the guillotine. Fighting desperately. Able to shrug off her opponent. Talk about rocking the jaw. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. Goodness gracious. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. The fatigue is setting in for her. Yes, Cora proving she does not care one bit about her opponent's feelings or well-being. Getting set up for something in the corner. Ooh, look at her answering back. Running close line. Great counter by Alexa. Uh-oh. Flashback! A nice shot by Alexa Bliss. <laughs> oh, no. This isn't going to end well. Double stomp to the legs. <laughs> oh, that'll swell up. There's truly a mystique about NXT. The black and gold brand has taken on a life of its own here in WWE. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Check this out. Oh. Simple but effective. She's taking a beating here. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're gonna wind up with a few battle scars. Tag. Here she comes.
Just pinning the arm down and that and a carefully measured knee drop. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Oh, look at this. Hair slam. Sharp elbow. Great response to Sherry there. Places her right in the corner. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Got to hurt. Oh! God, ugly but effective counter. Foot to the face. Scoop slam! Able to get there in time. Ripping their opponent down by the hair. Placing them into position, and look at this agonizing situation. Standing on the hair. Ooh, she just turned it around. Nice running crossbody. That's gotta be it. She breaks the ref's count. Surprised to not even get a two count at this point. Great counter. Oh no, trapping the arm. A vicious stomps to the hand. She'll need some serious recovery time after this. We're about to see how tough she really is. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Single leg takedown and step oh. She's trying desperately to make it to the bottom rope and maybe. And finally breaks it. She's lucky she got out in time. Straight jacket neck breaker. There's the spot face. face. What's gonna happen here? I think she's got an opportunity to turn this around. She just gotta shift her body just a little bit to get out of this. I don't know, Cole, it looks bleak. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Taking flight. What height. Cover. One, two. Oh, and she picked up a monumental win. Here are your winners. Alexa Bliss and Sarah Bates. And the winners celebrating together. Great chemistry tonight. And if I'm in the tag division, I'm hoping with all my heart I don't come across these two in the future. I don't believe it. The doctor of thugonomics is back. All right. Cena's kicking it old school. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 248 pounds, John Cena. This is a Cena many remember fondly. A man who was always dangerous with a mic in his hand. But does John feel the same way? Or does he feel haunted by this persona? Well, 
for the moment, Cena is back to living by word life. The agile and unpredictable scripts is in the building. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 180 pounds. Scripps came up the hard way in St. Louis, and now he uses those street smarts in the ring. Add that to his ridiculous acrobatic ability, and Scripps is one tough competitor. The bell rings and John Cena is looking like he's got that big fight feel coursing through his veins right now. I think John Cena approaches every match with that same big fight mentality, Michael. There are few superstars who will push themselves to the limits that John Cena does every match. I agree, Byron. I don't think Cena will be pulling any punches here tonight. But Scripps' confidence has only risen since he lost his mask. With his combination of confidence and athleticism, the sky is the limit for Scripps. And luckily, the sky is where he feels most confident. Connects on the kick. Tough position to be caught in here. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. Turns that back on Cena. Taking standing shooting stuff. A rope step. Oh no. Crashing hard onto the floor. My goodness. I think I heard something break on that crash landing. Great hip toss. Here's the cover. Kick out just in time. Very close. Fatigue clearly setting in. Out of the way in time. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Planning on what to do next. Right across the larynx. And that is Scripps searching for answers. Cena's been around the block a few times and can adapt to any opponent's style. But Corey, is there anything specific you think Cena really needs to focus on here? Taking flight, diving body splash. The sheer force of that landing was probably an emphatic victory. Here is your winner, John Cena. This was a tough loss for Scripps. The C Nation is on their feet here. Big Match John celebrating another Big Match win with everyone. truly glorious arrival. A champion in NXT and WWE, no one else 
as glorious. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 235 pounds. The glorious Robert Roode. You can never underestimate Robert Roode's in-ring abilities. Because if you make that mistake, you are in for a rude awakening. See what I did there? I get it. Robert Roode has tasted success both as a tag team competitor and in singles action. And you know, Byron, he's proved he's dangerous in any situation, any night of the week. Yeah, like it or not, Michael, Robert Roode has made a career out of making the most out of his opportunities. Roode is a serious threat to any superstar, and Robert Roode is always ready to get his hands dirty. The raid is about to begin. Brace for pillaging and destruction. And his opponent, representing the Viking Raiders from Valhalla, weighing in at 247 pounds, one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Eric. The raid has begun. The modern-day Vikings are here to pillage the competition. Looking hungry tonight. Hungry and scary. These three take no prisoners. That's how you know this will get ugly. We're in for a glorious match with Robert Roode in the ring, a veteran superstar whose stone-hearted approach to competition makes him a formidable opponent. Yeah, Roode will do anything to make his ambitions become reality, but even I have to admit that his incredible savvy in the ring has made him an enduring talent. Roode has been doing this for a long time and with no shortage of success. Then you have a battle-tested Viking warrior in Eric. He's plundered his share of tag team gold, but now he's out on his own, and eager to prove he's just as intimidating. Don't be foolish in doubting Eric's power. He's more than ready to show us what a real Viking can do in the ring. Oh, and back of the elbow. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Now look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. A ripping and tearing at the face. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. He heads outside, count outs legal in this match. Saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. DDT! Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Elbow drop. Piercing. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. 
You know, if Robert Roode can leverage his two decades of experience in this matchup, it could be enough to get the win. The more he utilizes all of that incredible knowledge, the more dangerous he'll be tonight. That's smart thinking, and I'm sure Roode won't hesitate to put those veteran ring smarts to work. He's taking this to the floor now. Vicious right forearm. We're gonna see it. Gut wrench power bomb. And Rude looked a little less than glorious after that move. Staggering ferocity behind that attack from Eric. Three, four, power slam. Eric looking to keep up that Viking energy. Come on. No one likes a count out. Oh. Big knee to the midsection. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Oh, stop right to the hand. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. And finds a counter. This could do it. No, he kicks out. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Right to the chest. And that has to bring Eric down a peg. A savvy attack by the ring-wise veteran, Robert Roode. Oh, 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 strong knee connects. Knee drop. Trap the arm. Yeah. Into the neck breaker. Can he do it here? But the ref isn't even paying attention. Never mind what you're doing. Make the count. He is still very much in this. They've got their opponent's arm. Driving a knee into the arm. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. She heads out, but this one can be lost by count out. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Lands, and will this be it? Shoulder up at two. He really thought that was it. Oh, jarring back elbow. He thinks he has it. No, kicks out. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Kick out. Up oh, and sit out power bomb. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. And he tosses it back in now. Catches the leg. Close line takes him down. Again by. Some serious hurt, but somehow he's still in this. Slugging it out, toe to toe now. Oof. Neither competitor is backing down. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken out. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. 
Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. left in these superstar bodies. Yeah, the tank is being emptied tonight. Kick to the gut. Glorious DDT. Eric looks out of it. Two count. What a win for Robert Roode tonight. Here is your winner. The glorious Robert Roode. A glorious victory for Robert Roode. Robert Roode, no doubt, very pleased with himself. It's going to be an interesting matchup, but we've got company, gentlemen. Oh, look who it is. Oh, this match just got even more exciting. Why does this superstar need to be out here? Well, it looks like they're coming our way, Saxton. You can ask them yourself. Oh, great. There's nothing wrong with surveying a situation. As long as they sit closer to you. You can't focus on who is ringside. You have to focus on the opponent in the ring. Obviously, our company is very really interested in the outcome of this match. That's the bell, but as we just saw, it looks like some people will resort to anything to get in someone's head. Obstacles come at you from every angle, Cole, and this is no different. Come on, was the distraction even necessary? Well, let's watch the match and find out, Saxton, because from where I'm sitting right now, it wasn't unnecessary. Oh, that's just insulting. Making a mockery of your opponent could eventually backfire. Dodges. Close line. Stomping. Ouch. Oh, man. The Kimura. Oh, the Kimura. Kimura like a plot. He is doing whatever he can to break the Kimura, and he does. Lights out. DDT connects. His lack of size opens him up to getting overwhelmed. If you're able to overwhelm Butch, you may be able to put him away. Oh, that'll keep Butch at bay. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. My goodness! And then look at that! And he slides him back to the mat. Four. Arm ringer, their opponent in a compromising position, but... Fighting back, however, punches in the midsection.
Oh, they're just punishing their opponent now. Did you guys expect this match to be this physical? Absolutely. This is exactly what I came to see tonight. And now the action spilling to the outside of the ring. Our guest commentator looking on. Seems like our guest has taken issue. Oh, well, our guest commentator is no more, guys. Oh, we still got a match to settle. Might not take that long. You know, this superstar needs to focus on the match, not over here at commentary. Hey, you can just feel the tension just from that brief interaction. Oh. Oh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Rude looking to bait his opponent into a mistake. Great strength being shown here. Oh, put down face first. Kick after kick after kick. They're going to kick the features off their face. He may get the three count right here. This is it. A kick out of two. Somehow, someway, he is still in this. Good grief, man. This is vicious. He moved, but can't capitalize. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Oh my gosh, what impact! Oh my god, what a B! Shoulders up before two. He's still got more left in the tank. Placed in the corner. Oh, and a reversal. There's been a lot of back and forth between them these past few weeks. Yeah, Carl, I don't know how this is going to end, but I have a feeling it's not going to be pretty. Oh, wow, into a powerbomb. Butch hyping up the crowd. No way. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Love and fancy here. Rude looking to bait his opponent into a mistake. We've arrived. It's about time. The bitter end. Oof. Rude is down and out. Oh, he kicked out. Within inches of victory, only to have it snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more exciting. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. The superstar is digging down deep. His superstar giving themselves a major chance. And this is it. Celebrate this win. You deserve it for focusing up and keeping your eye on the ball. The odds were stacked against them, but they are standing tall now. Yeah, but they shouldn't expect the same results each time. They got lucky here.
We are about to see something good. The following is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 273 pounds. Oh, Bart F. Amy! The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. A guy who treats every match as if it's the biggest one of his career. He definitely plans to steal the show tonight. Showtime for Ashanti, the Adonis. And his partner from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 209 pounds, Ashanti, the Adonis. A veteran of the United States Army, a college football standout, this Adonis is one tough dude. Yeah, definitely a man who is ready for combat. This man is a highly gifted athlete. High flyer who packs a serious punch. <laughs> Get out your selfie sticks, guys. Byron, do you have a selfie stick? Yeah. Not surprised. And from seasonal residencies, weighing in at 212 pounds, Tyler Breeze. Look, everybody, it's Tyler, a competitor as dangerous as he is gorgeous. Yeah, Breeze has taken part in his share of classics, but now it's Breeze's turn to take the crown. Well, he considers tonight a quote-unquote prove-yourself match. Well, Tyler Breeze is treating tonight like it's Fashion Week in his opponent's face, like his catwalk. Jack is here. Get ready for some hard justice. And from Worcester, Massachusetts, Weighing in at 270 pounds, Dijak! A man who's as cold-hearted as he is big. There are few people who are as disciplined as Dijak. 
Methodical in his actions. There is no movement wasted in the ring. With strength, stamina, and shocking aerial skills, there's no telling what Dijak will hit you with next. He has been on a warpath after his rebirth, and now he's fully unlocked his true self. Bringing his brand of justice to the WWE, and no one is safe from Dijak's wrath. underway truly one of the hallmarks of sports entertainment that's right Cole as a former tag team champion myself I have to say these matches hold a special place in my heart what a maneuver this is just brute power my goodness absolute cover cover he forces a break before the count of two frankly he should have known that wasn't enough He thinks he has it. He stops the count for his partner. Ooh, skull rattling. Placing them into the corner. And full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. As their opponent whipped hard into the corner. Followed by a clothesline. And a rolling neck snap. Tagged in. He's got it. Oh, 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 let's get it on. Strong counter from Adonis. into the ropes and attacking the lower back. And he retaliates on Adonis. Belly to belly. Incoming. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. Oh, saw it coming. He's returning fire. Choke slam right into the knee. Tag is registered. Yes, tag. Tilt the wall, DDT. Nice <laughs> first. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Oh, the legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. Sent into the corner. Tag. Here he goes for the win. with a punch to the gut. He's been put in a bind. Oh. Oh, 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 what a nasty knee lift. Scoop slam. And Dijak got bottled up there. Nice side headlock applied. Oh. What a good punch. measure. That could be it. 
He gets an emphatic kick out. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. What a response from Dijak. Oh, close line. And come on now. It's one thing to have to deal with their size. Now you have to deal with that agility, too. Avoiding contact. Tyler Breeze with a double under. On prettier. And there's the save. Breeze has him marked. He knows how to avoid contact. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, they stuck it out for this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag suit. Playing possum! Shoulders down! What is the ref doing? Don't worry about that now. Get down and count! Oh, what a close line! Oh, man, check out this power! as Beth Saxton stares up at the lights. Here are your winners. The team of Tyler Breeze and Dijak. Tyler Breeze and company with the win. Tag team excellence in its purest form. You simply love to see it. And I hope we see these guys tagging again real soon. turned up to 11. Get ready for some super athletic competition from Chance and Carter, folks. I cannot wait to see it. And the after party is going to be pretty great as well. And here come three women looking to take control. Perhaps the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. And their opponents, accompanied by Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io Scott. Damage control. Attitudes and personalities aside, damage control is one of the most impressive factions we have ever seen in the women's division, ever seen in WWE at all. They are arguably the most decorated team to ever be in WWE 2, Michael. That's where a lot of the attitude comes from. A team of winners all coming together for a common goal, taking over the women's division that they so clearly belong on top of. Could that be it?
Quite simply, nobody can stop damage control. When it comes to two talents, you don't want to underestimate Caden Carter and Katana Chance have to be pretty high on that list within the women's division. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Uh, almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. She's pushed into the corner. Forearm! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, that's a free fall. What athleticism! Look at this, going counter for counter. Double stop. Oof, that can knock you out. Able to evade. Oh no, she could be caught here. Bad situation for her. Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. Counter from Carter. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. There's a Russian leg sweep. These will keep you down. Practically never ending blows coming at full force here. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. What now? Oh, a stop to the belly welly. <laughs> Solely focused on punishing the leg. About to be the proverbial one-legged man in the you-know-what kicking contest. A uh, set out mat slam. She gets a quick kick out there. He's really letting her opponent know how much fight she has. Dropkick all the way to the outside. Looks like Eva is wavering a bit now. Oh, there goes the ankle. Then again. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Stomping down. Oh, right to the leg. How's that for a counter? She hit the corner hard. She catches Kai with a big counter. Being carried around with ease. Oh, snake eyes caving in their face. And what's this manager looking for under the ring? She has no business down there. Ooh, being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. Tag made, tandem offense incoming. Set off the ropes, trip, drop kick, followed by Atome, Atomico! Talk about being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. To the face, what a redirect. with absorbing the brunt of that one. Katana stepping up to a challenge. Left by the turnbuckles. She's dazed on the top turnbuckle. She flips it back on her. Oh! 
How insulting is that? It has to be demoralizing to just get slapped like that. If that doesn't fire you up, I don't know what will. Just disrespectful. That's telling your opponent you don't deserve cover. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Tag! Sent out to the center of the ring. She makes the tag. She is unleashed. There's a roll through. Super kick in the face. On the attack from behind. Right after the neck. Oh! Suicide dive! That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for your own well-being. Controlling the arm into a hammerlock flatliner. Toss back into the ring. EO in a daze. Could be over soon. Makes some space and gets out of dodge. She sent flying into the corner. Oh, she is in a precarious position. Looking to inflict even more damage. Now this is gonna get ugly, it's gonna get bad up to the top row. Wait, wait a second, wait a second. Avalanche Spanish fly. She's going up. Top rope here. Lift off. Should have been three. I couldn't agree more. We are seeing absolutely no quit from these. Tag made. Both superstars in the ring. Ooh, a tremendous combination put together there. Will Carter recover? She's got to be proud of herself tonight. Here are your winners. Dakota Kai and Io Scott. Damage control. And a big time victory for this tag team here tonight. A bit of a cloud over Katana and Cadence Parade with this loss. The Brothers of Destruction. What started as a bitter sibling rivalry has turned into a dominant tag team. Maybe the most dominant tag team we've ever seen. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 632 pounds, the NXT UK Tag Team Champions, The Undertaker and Kane, the Brothers of Destruction. Guys, I think you would agree with me. There's just a different feeling in the air 
when these two are together. The Phenom, the Big Red Monster, an awesome sight to behold. And it's like watching a storm prepare to touch down. Force of nature. That would be an apt description for these two men. I think it's safe to say these two are the scariest duo in WWE history. The Brothers of Destruction, ready to leave devastation in their wake. Both of these monsters, former WWE champions, have held multiple tag team titles together. And perhaps the most powerful duo in WWE history. Britain's most beautiful import sent to us in a pair. Yes, boy! And their opponents at a combined weight of 357 pounds. Elton Prince and Kid Wilson, pretty deadly. Kid Wilson, Elton Prince, two exceptional in-ring talents with exceptionally inflated egos. Jealousy is not a good color on you, Saxton. Despite their outfits and antics, this is a highly competent and accomplished tag team. Hopefully they can focus on their in-ring work here tonight. They've shown their focus every single match, Saxton. Pretty deadly are everything their name says they are and more. The two goofs in the super crop tops are Kit Wilson and Elton Prince, collectively known as Pretty Deadly. Goofs? Cole? These two men are as professional as they come. They come into work every week to take care of business. It's not a crime to look good doing it. In fact, I think the only crime around here is one of fashion, and I'm looking in your direction when I say that, and the Saxtons, too. I would love to see some of that professionalism in this match, then. That would be pretty deadly, if you ask me. And staring them down from across the ring are Undertaker and Kane, the brothers of destruction. I don't know how you prepare mentally for Satan's favorite siblings. <laughs> I don't know how you prepare for a Sunday dinner with these two. I know it's been a mix of sibling rivalry and brotherly love between these two, but when they're on the same page, they're unstoppable. And another counter. Series of reversals. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Compromised position here. He can end it. 
it here. And he kicks out at two. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. He got whipped into that corner. Oh, impressive counter. Snapmare takedown. Oh, my. Single leg drop kick. Oh, look at it. Grind the features off their face. Oh, right across the top row. That was showing great awareness of positioning. Placing shoulders down. This could be it. And a kick out by Kane. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Tags him in. Mistake made by Wilson. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Oh, Kane counters. He can end it here. Kick out at one. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Oh, did you hear the sound that made? Tossed into the corner. Able to reverse that one. Kane gets that set right back to him. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist. And a tag there. Caught with a clothesline. Prince saw that was coming. Oh, and an elbow caught him and cleared him to the floor. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Snap suplex. He's lost some of his win now. The Brothers of Destruction just dished out pure punishment. Clearly waiting for that. Ah, oh, jeez. There's some power behind that punch. Really testing fate right now. Boom! Undertaker turning up the intimidation factor. What a shot. When it comes to this rivalry, I think we all thought cooler heads would end up prevailing, but that has actually not been the case. Oh, yeah, Michael. Right now, there is nothing that can stop the collision course that these superstars are on. Sure, it's been messy, but that's part of this business. Not every rivalry is a sportsman-like affair where you shake hands before and after every match. But this is very much the opposite. Get him into the corner. Piercing the throat. He had it scouted. Tag made. Little bit of fun from this entertaining tag team. Not sure their opponent feels that way. Ooh! Applied. Oh, and a forearm. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Into a gut buster. Well done. for a one count. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Into the corner now. Able 
table to reverse. Big boot. He's looking a little weary now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? How about a turnbuckle now? Oh, no, 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 no. Not from up there. Super chunk slam. And this has got to be it. Coming to the rescue. Oh, that's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Control here, face first in the turnbuckle. He moves just in time. A oh, neck breaker. Tag made, double team offense on the horizon here in this matchup. Sending their opponent off the rope. What are we going to see here? Oh, double tackle. Yeah, okay. I see it. And not done yet. And did you hear the impact of that? Measured up nicely. Fist drop. Jarring European uppercut. Boom. Oh, what an uppercut. Jarring. Here he comes off the tag. Keeping in close quarters, and look at these lefts. Now, this is just a ruthless attack. Oh, such aggression. Placed into the corner. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Kit turns that around. <laughs> Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. The end may be in sight for his opponent here. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. Stack delivers the inverted DDT. He's got him scouted. And here is Kane in off the tag. See who can find a way to keep going. He's trying again. Oh, what a spy buster. Kit can end this now. Shoulders down. Major, major win. That'll change his career tonight. Here are your winners. Elton Prince and Kim Wilson. Pretty deadly. 
Tag team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. Earning a win over Kane and The Undertaker shifts the balance of power in WWE. We could be looking at a changing of the guard. He looks great with all that gold on him. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion and the NXT Champion, Seth Freakin'. I can't imagine the amount of pressure he's feeling carrying around two championships. Yeah, the pressure is on when you have one title, but with two, it has to be immense. Hauling around two titles does put a huge target on his back, though. Everyone wants a piece of him, a shot at one of those titles, but he's holding on with a vice-like grip. All right, I love this guy. has the potential to completely change the WWE landscape, and it's because of this level of talent involved. If he wants to be able to walk out here with a victory, he's got to be able to adapt against Seth Rollins. It is crucial for his survival. You gotta love seeing the champ in action here. Well, his title isn't on the line, I'm sure his pride is. Yeah, Michael, and the champ might be using this as an opportunity to prepare for any future title matches. If you ask me, I think this is a smart move for the champ. Like I said, the only thing it can hurt is his pride, Byron. And let us not forget about... And here's a cover. 
He's able to kick out before two. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Ah, shot to the back. Oh, man. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Ooh, point of the elbow counters that. And he sends him into the corner. Ends a gear, he drops him. He could do it here. He narrowly avoids the count. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. And this one might be headed ringside. Rollins with a schoolboy takedown. Super kick after the schoolboy. My goodness. Rollins just a step too slow. Oh, back elbow. I oh, had that well scouted. back in under the ropes. Ooh, bad aiming there as the ref takes a blow. Rollins with a reversal. Picture perfect drop kick. Quickly, the cover! Just gets the shoulder up. Close call, that was almost lights out. Muscles their opponent up. Buckle bomb! Can he score the pin? Kicks out. He just won't give up. He fends off the attack. One jumping knee strike. Lights out. work. Here is your winner, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Seth Rollins comes up big and gets the win. Congrats to Seth Freakin' Rollins. Job well done. I don't think there was ever a doubt in Seth's mind that this would be the outcome. We are just moments away from this matchup between these two heated rivals taking place. And the match is underway, right into the corner. Here we go. And all this pent up emotion, this long rivalry finally coming out here now. Emotions definitely running extremely high. This is a great way to start off the match. Yeah, I agree with you, Corey. This competitor not allowing their opponent a moment to actually be ready to start the match. And listen to the energy from the WWE Universe. That attack before the bell doesn't seem to have diminished these superstars' eagerness to start this match. You're right about that. You can see some very determined looks on the faces of these competitors as we get underway. And you know, I just hope we have a clean fight here moving forward. I'm not sure you should get your hopes up. If that starts anything to go by, we are in for a drag out slugfest here. Nasty stop of the arm. Malicious. 
You want to control the tempo. You want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. We're stretching oh. out the knee. A lot of damage being done here. Elbow right to the knee. Kick right to the leg. Haymaker after Haymaker. Oh. Slugging away with everything they've got. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Boom. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. Boom. Two fighters putting their haymakers on. is here tonight. Well, Corey, you can't go wrong with an old favorite. Slowing down the pace of the match. The Queen's in control when she's in the ring and going at her pace instead of her opponent's. Staved off that attack. Charlotte with the spear. That was the brilliant match. Scratching and trying. This could be it. She kicks out with force. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Definitely some hard feelings between them. Yeah, Saxton, but I don't think this has quite reached that boiling point yet. Up high! Look out for her! And after that, you know things have just kicked up the notch. Pedal to the metal right now. Not stopping the leg. Just nasty. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Might take her head clean off her shoulders. This one is headed outside, guys. Shayna Baszler's defenses being whittled down. Charlotte Flair slowed this one down to the Queen's preferred pace. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. And now gets tossed into the ring. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Oh, right across the throat. attack earlier played in their favor allowing them to lock up the win tonight i bet their opponent learned a thing or two in this one about watching their back i bet they did next time it might not be so easy to steal the match <laughs>